All right, this is for that minor section in minuet number two from Suzuki book three. Um, we're gonna start on a B flat, low four in first position. And that's gonna be a half step to three. This should sound significantly like dreary in a way, right? It's like you're lamenting about something or sad about something, right? So you have low four, three, low two, three, three, three. And in this one, it says dolce, which means sweetly, right? In Italian, so you wanna make sure that your slurs are very connected, very smooth. Uh, down, down, down. Okay, try not to separate because that's a different character. That would have staccatos. This is just slurred. Let's try to make it smoothly across the string. Then G, G, A, B flat, low one, C natural, D, D, E flat is low four to a low one, F natural. And if you look, I'm just tucking my, four, my first finger back onto E string so that I can get back, that was a little too loud, right, to my fourth finger without having to move my whole hand. So don't make more work for yourself, be smart about it, right? So you have um, at 61, oh, sorry, I jumped ahead, <laughs> my bad. I'm looking at 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, where I have E flat, F, E flat, D, C, D, E flat again, low four, low one, B flat, C, D, C, B flat, C, A. So now D, C, B flat. If you need help playing B flat or E flat, you can actually look at the Essential Elements Book 2 stuff that I put up, and that'll actually help you figure out those notes if you're not familiar with them. Okay? So this is at 55. You have lift, and now you have B flat again. Nice and smooth. B flat, C, D. Now I didn't write the B flat there because it's already in the key signature. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention was that when it says dolce, you can see that it has tenuto marks, those lines above those quarter notes to make sure that you play them for the full value, okay? Instead of like clipping them or making them short, make sure that they're really nice and drawn out, okay? Let's now start at 61 where we have that F natural again. E flat, four, three, four. Notice that my one didn't go to the A string, it stayed on E string. So that I can go back to one when I need to without having to move my fingers. So I have one, two, one, four, three, four, back to one without moving fingers. Four, three, two, three, two, two, one. If I were you on that one, I would keep with the pattern and do down, up, up, then down, and lift. B flat, open E to F natural low one, G, A, B flat, G, A, B flat, G, A, F natural, low one, all the way to F natural, low two on the D string. Low one, two, three, low four, three, two, one, low one, zero, low one, then down again. This is different from when we played this before where it was like this, yeah? Because those are a whole step, D to C natural. Then you have G, E flat. Now this one is gonna be um, a cross between first position and half position, okay? So you're gonna have um, D. If you see, this is a fifth, so that means that it's the same finger playing two different notes across the string, so I can just kind of roll my finger. Now I'm gonna tuck my finger back a half step for F sharps in half position so I can play with my second finger. Yeah, I can, so <laughs> I have G to D, F sharp to C natural. So I'm playing that C natural with second finger, but that F sharp with third finger. I'm moving back if you could see that. And then here, you can either move back with third finger to first position to a B flat, or you can actually tuck fourth finger next to that F sharp and continue in half position. Low one, open A. So you have the choice of three, 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 two, three, low one, open, four. Low one, zero. That's gonna take a lot of work. Playing in rhythms would probably be one thing. However I need to do it to really make sure I can get those fingers moving is what I want as the final result, okay? 
The next passage, you start on D, E natural, F sharp, B flat, C, B flat, A, one E end, two, three, yeah. Or you can think, you can think one and a, maybe instead. Excellent, play a C sharp on that one. Um, you may hear it a couple different ways, but in fact, let's just stick to one and a, two, three, one, two, three, okay? So if you want to listen to those last four measures of that, um, from measure 76, uh, 77, you have one, two, three. And the next thing that you go back into is tempo one. It's like exactly the beginning, what we've worked on at the beginning of the minuet. So it should be pretty familiar, okay? Again, you can play this with smart music. I'll try to post a video of me playing the whole thing all the way through so you can play along with that as well. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. All right.